Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. This is Juan Dusan speaking here. And yeah, we are moving. We found a beautiful new apartment in a high rise building in New York City. And we're going to be moving from our very beautiful pre war apartment in the Upper East Side. We'll be missed for sure. So this was a pretty traumatic move. There were so many things happening at the same time as I was planning on this move. One of the things was my artist brand intensive cohort, which was the first time I've ever run a live cohort with a set of students who were trying to learn personal branding for artists from me. And we were meeting every day. And this move happened pretty much in the middle of that. So it kind of made things a little complicated. On top of that, I didn't need anything else going on. There was another animated score that I started working on. And this move also landed right in the middle of that process, which is pretty traumatic. And as you can see, my face is not very emotive in these videos, but I figured it out. I was a little stressed out with everything going on. And we honestly had a lot of time to pack and a lot of time to prepare. But as you know, I work from home and I work from my setup in my studio and that's where all the magic happens. And breaking it down early means I can't do work. So essentially, I waited until the very last minute to do this very daunting process. And thankfully, my wife, Jen, was very gracious to help me pack and break down. And I am super appreciative of her for doing that. So the first thing I did was to take down my acoustic panels from the walls. I unscrewed all the mounting gear and then covered the holes with spackle. I'm sure I will probably need to upgrade my sound treatment solutions eventually, but I've had these four panels for about four years and I've been so grateful for the company that sent them to me. They've been really helpful. And for the New York renting apartments and small rooms that we have here, I think they've been a great solution. I'm no audio engineer or mixer, so I don't need a perfectly treated room. And I work with headphones most of the time, but these panels really do help a lot. It was time to start unmounting all the different arms and gadgets I have on top of the desk. There was a whole mess in this desk. At the same time as I'm cleaning, I am exporting the final mock-ups for this upcoming short film I'm working on. It was kind of crazy because as I was doing this, I was getting ready to send these sessions to my orchestrator for him to work on the scores so that the string quartet who is going to record this score could work while I was in the middle of the move. One of the craziest things about being in the entertainment industry working as a film composer is that deadlines are crazy and they don't really care whether or not you're moving, whether or not there's a hardship in your life and you kind of have to make them happen somehow. Thankfully for me, I have a really good support team that I usually work with and they were able to hold my back in this situation while I was in the middle of this whole process. So as the day progressed, my wife started helping me a little bit more and we found out that my Mac studio was pretty disgusting <laughs> with a bunch of dust that was collected over time. I hadn't really cleaned it in a while. I didn't know it would get so nasty, but hey, we got it working. This Pelican case is something I got a few years ago for a course that I filmed in Spain. I had to bring my whole setup with me and the only way I could actually do it without freaking out was to have a real fly case that was sturdy and heavy duty. And this is what I got. It's a Pelican Air and I'm really happy with it. I always use it to transport my Mac studio and the expensive pieces of gear that I have. We are. We're going to make it look so we're gonna get you wood panels. I'm gonna start contacting wood panel companies for you. We're gonna get wood panels. We're gonna get twice the amount of sound panels. We're gonna get you a bigger painting that I'm gonna commission. We're gonna get you all the newest equipment, but only <laughs> aesthetic. Perfect. And a grand, baby grand piano for the living room. 
So after I took everything off my desk, I tried to get off the monitor arm, but I found out that one of the hooks that takes the cables inside broke because it's kind of cheap plastic. For the cable management, I'm using this Hexcall Studio desk riser, which has a ton of storage inside and it's great for cable management. I love it. The last time I set it up, I tried my best to arrange the cables in a way that made sense, but it was still kind of crazy in there. So I need to work on that. Here's my keyboard, which is on a Z stand under my uplift desk. Thankfully, the desk goes up and down, so it's very easy to grab gear from above or below the desk whenever I need. Once the keyboard is out, the rest is pretty easy. I just have to unscrew the whole stand and put it away. And then I started out trying to figure out how to unmount the tabletop from this desk. One of the things that I had never done with these new desks was unmount them and break them down. So I was kind of trying to figure out what the best way to transfer them was. We hard movers, so we didn't need to do a lot of the heavy lifting, but I still wanted the tabletops to be protected. So after getting rid of all these big pieces of gear and putting them aside in boxes, I cleaned up the desk and made sure everything was fine. I can't tell you how many times I cleaned this desk every day, every other day for filming and all that stuff. But I figured out that I needed to take out most of the big screws from the sides. So that's what I did with my power drill, which I love, by the way. And it took no time, actually. It was actually surprisingly easy to break this desk down. I saved all these screws in a box that was labeled uplift. It was getting kind of late in the day and I decided to start a project to cover the corners of the desk so that they were protected during the move. And the main reason I did this is because the last desk I had had a few scratches and things in the corners and I didn't want the paint of these desks to be damaged. I ended up covering each one of the corners. So we'll see how the protection works when we get to the new place. The frame of the desk stayed pretty much on one single part. I was trying to think if I should have broken it down, but I think the easiest way to transport it was in one piece. It was too much work to put it back together. This is how the room looked without the desks, with all the gear away, the couch broken down. It's a modular couch from Love Sack and with pretty much everything in boxes. This is a ride before the movers got to the apartment. And we were super excited, but also very tired. It was a long couple of days, just breaking down the whole apartment, packing everything in boxes, getting all my keyboards away. But I'm excited to show you the future. And that's going to come up in the next video.